Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today, I pulled the trigger on something a little different. As you can see, this is not a DC character, nor a Marvel character, or an anime character. This is more like a video game character. So lately I just bought a new PlayStation 5, so I'm starting to discover that word and one of the characters that I really like the design is this one, the one from Horizon Forbidden West. And I think the, this girl's name is Alloy. Forgive me if I butchered pronouncing that, but that's just how I read it, Alloy. Um, yeah, um, I just want to mix up my collection. And every now and then, you know, you get bored with the line that you that you collect and you just want to you know to see something else something different to spice to spice up your collection and this is one of those figures that actually caught my attention so let's start with the packaging so at the front of the box you can see PlayStation and then a picture of the character in game and the toy itself so this is horizon forbidden west which i think is the second game and then here so i'm thinking this is her name alloy and said and then they said that this is the nora hunter's outfit so i'm thinking that this is just one of her outfit and maybe in the future they will be releasing her on a different outfit. What actually caught my attention is that it has 42 points of articulation. So I'm actually excited to look at the articulation of this character because 42 is a pretty high number. Another thing that I'm a little worried of is, you know, when, when characters use this arrow, uh, he, she's displayed here without a string on the arrow so I know that's really a problem when it comes to six and speed figures character the characters that uses arrow sometimes that's really just kind of hard to replicate or I don't know I haven't really started playing the game guys so I'm not sure if this should even have strings maybe my idea is that horizon is actually more of a futuristic game because his, her enemies are machines, so maybe there's really no string here. Instead, it's she used something else. Now, on the right side of the package, you can actually see the whole figure and the accessories that are included. I love that she has a, last, a lot of face plate. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six face plate. And then I, they, they also put here the name of the guy who sculpted it and the one who painted it. On the left side of the box, I think this is the artwork from the, from the game itself, the cover of the game. And then what I actually also noticed is that it says the Shapes Collection. Is this the official name that they decided to call the line? Because, I don't know, I think that's not very catchy. Someone in marketing needs to rework this because the Shapes Collection is like a line for, I don't know, kid to kids' toys or baby toys. Yeah, I think they kind of peeled on that one. They need to think of a more catchy name for this line. And finally, at the back of the box, it's the same art from the cover of the game. And then you can also see here a short biography of the character. The main protagonist of Horizon, Alloy, is a curious, determined, and intent on uncovering the mysteries of the world. Shunned by, by her own tribe since birth, she has learned to harness her agility, cunning, and deadly aim 
to hunt the machines and survive the unforgiving wilds. Okay, so just a small intro of the character there. I actually love the packaging of this figure. I mean, they may have failed on the name, I mean, the shapes collection, but as far as the packaging, I think they did a very good job because that's just a, the sleeve of the box. If you remove the sleeve, then there's the real box of the figure. And yeah. That's one nice artwork. Again, I haven't played the game yet, so I'm not sure. Maybe this is also in the packaging of the game. But I love how this look. And then same art. Same art from Horizon Forbidden West. And then you just need to open it like this. So I'm not an inbox collector. But these are the kind of packaging that I actually keep. I don't know. I'm I just like I just like it when they actually make an effort on the packaging that you can actually display the figure in box and it will still look good. So yeah, so there's the figure, and then there are the accessories and alternate hands and face plates. My initial impression on this figure is that I it's scaled smaller. I'm thinking this will not scale with Marble Legends, considering that they marketed it as a 6-inch figure. I think they are more on the slower 6-inch figure, like SH Figure Art. I think this will scale better with SH Figure Arts, but let's check it later. The figure is around five and a half inches or 14 centimeter. So yeah, she is a little on the short side. So here she is with some marble legends. Uh, because as I said, I asked, I had this impression that the figure is more on the smaller scale. The smaller six inch scale, specifically the scale used by SHP Yards, because we know that Marble Legends are a little oversized to the six inch scale. And looking at this, I think I'm correct. I think the whole build and symmetry of the of this figure by by the way, by Spin Master. Spin Master is the brand that built this. Uh, it's more on the smaller side. I think they are more in scale with SH Figure Arts. Okay, guys, you know how surprised I am on that claim that they had on the box that this figure has 42 points of articulation. So let's start with articulation. Now, the neck and the... And the head has both joints, so it has both a connection there in the neck and a ball joint there in the head. So as far as looking down, that's amazing. She has an amazing range, guys. Now, 42 points of articulation. Usually one of our problems with female characters that have long hair is that they, their hair is usually going to be in the way of the articulation of the head. But, man, just look at this. Each of these head strands are articulated. I mean, man, that's, that's crazy. That's just crazy. And when I said crazy, I mean crazy amazing. Just look at that. Guys. Just look at that. Now I am this is the first time I've heard of Spin Master. I, I'm pretty sure they're not a new company. I think they've been uh releasing some toys before, but they are just not within my radar. This is the first time that I actually saw a figure from them that actually caught my attention. And 
wow guys just look at that i think that's why there's 42 just from the hair alone how many points of articulation is this already so i have no problem with her looking up you know i have no problem with her looking up and it is made up her hair is already made up you know soft plastic so i don't think it will even be a problem to for her to look up even without the articulation but wow man i know i spent too much on this head but that articulation is crazy that's like import quality articulation i don't think i've even seen any import company that was able to do this hair articulation i think this is the first figure with articulate articulated hair strand that I'm actually amazed. I think it was made perfectly and it actually works. So that alone, I'm already amazed. Spin Master, please keep doing action figures. This is way, this is new level. Now for the shoulder fed, this is actually made with soft plastic. So you can just move it away like that. So it she can do the Depots. Uh, I don't think she has a, she has a butterfly joint, but I don't know. There, there's a, there, the way they designed the the shape here. She can actually do this, so it's like it's like she actually has some butterfly articulation so that's good design there so she has she has a cut here so you can rotate her there now this is the only thing that i didn't like this is only one jointed her elbow only have one joint so she can only do up to that that's the only range of that. And then, you know, the, there's also rotation here, aside from the rotation there. And then the hands are single peg, but, but I did notice, I did check the alternate hands. The, the way that the figure articulates, despite of the fact that they are only single peg, is actually correct. So what I mean is that, if they need to be like that, they are, and hence that should be like that, they are. So they really thought of the design when it comes to the articulation of the arms, so no problem there. So for the hands, my only negative for me is that it is only single-jointed here. So for the articulation in the torso, she has a cut on the abdomen so you can rotate that it, is act it actually has a pretty good range so that's an that's a plus for me already but if you're not satisfied with the range of that abdominal cut she also have ab crunch here so she can look down that far amazing and she can look up that far. So this is like the same as the super articulated torso of Hasbro. On what release was that? Uh, Black Widow. They're super articulated Black Widow. So that's what reminds me with this articulation here. So they're the same. No waist rotation. So as expected. Uh, since she has an ab crunch here, she doesn't have a waist rotation. Or does she? Nope, she doesn't. Okay, so let's go with the legs. This is made of very soft plastic. So I don't think it will stand in the way. 
of leg articulation at all. This is very soft plastic. And then I guess this is part of those of that 42 points of articulation. So this also moves. Okay, let's go with the leg. So she has a tie cut. And then thank God she has she is double jointed here. Amazing, she's double jointed here. I, I don't know why they did they, they made the hand single jointed so far in this articulation review. That's the only thing that uh I was a little disappointed that that was made into a single joint. Okay, so good articulation there, and then there's ankle fever. There's ankle fever, yep. So it can do that. And she has the articulation like Marlene. Wow. So she can kick that far and kick back that far. So wow. So she can do the split. She can do the split. Then for the bandam, okay, no complaints on the articulation of the leg. Overall, guys, this figure has amazing articulation. The only downfall is that single jointed elbow. But you know, guys, I'm 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 still amazed with the way they made their her hair articulated. I just love this figure now. I just really love how this figure is designed. And I haven't even played the Horizon game, and so I don't have really that much attachment with this character. The only reason, the reason I bought it is because her design is amazing. And now, as an action figure collector, I love this figure. Just ignoring that single jointed. If they made this double jointed, this figure would have been perfect, like import, import quality perfect when it comes to an articulation. And also, another thing I want to add, the joints actually work. There are no tight or loose joints. They work, so they're pretty soft. So Spin Master is definitely definite leveled up their game when it comes to this figure line. I'm not sure if this is the first figure they release on this line, but if it is, it is a very good start. Because uh, on the store that I ordered it, the the God of War Kratos and her and his son, and then that samurai guy, uh, I forget his name, the ghost of something. As I said, guys, I just bought the PS5 this month, so... I'm still trying to catch up when it comes to PlayStation games, and I think these are PlayStation exclusive or PlayStation production created. So this will be the first time I'm gonna be catching up playing with them. And this is a, as an as a action figure collector, this is a good start. I like. I think I'm gonna love this character more when I play Horizon. So articulation, definitely amazing. So the figure comes with five alternate piece plates aside from this uh, neutral piece that she comes with out of the box. So this is a, this is her neutral piece. This will be one of her angry piece. If you will look at that uh, eyes, those eyes and her forehead, yeah, she's she's a little angry here. It's like she's saying, I'm kind of getting pissed off now. And I guess this is like, now I'm really angry pace because in this head sculpt, she's actually open mouth and I think about to shout. Now the next uh, pace split, she's kind of have this different paint, paint on her face and what I love about this is that 
they could have just put that paint on a on a neutral paste and that will be another alternate paste plate but they actually gave her an expression on her mouth like she's about to you know like like she's having a conversation so i like that effort i like that effort that they still gave her a different expression aside from that uh paste paint that they put on her maybe when i play the the game i'll be more familiar with what this different paste paint means again guys i'm really loving the effort here that they did on the different paste plates because again this is a different paste paint and another different expression you know another different expression that they have given her she's kind of smiling here like she's having a good time now this is what i'm talking about they could have just you know given her a different uh paint on her face with a neutral with a neutral expression but i guess in this case the the paint on her face is more compa compatible with the neutral paste so i actually i actually like this look i wonder if this is a yeah i can't wait to play this game so that i'll be able to know if this different paste paint that she has actually has meaning or maybe or are they just you know are they just skins for the game Okay, so aside from the neutral open palm hands that she has out of the box, she came with a pair of closed fist hands. Weapon holding hands. And yeah, I guess this is the this will be used for the, uh, holding the arrows and the bow. This is actually this is actually good a good pretty good sculpt. As for the weapons, I think this is her bladed stuff. So amazing paint and details there i love this the way they sculpted this and yeah the paintwork that was done on this weapon is pretty sharp then i think this should be at her back is there a Oh yeah, there. Let's see. Okay, my mistake. This is more here. Because I noticed that at her back, it is not a hole, it's more of a peg. Which I'm thinking maybe maybe for the staff. Okay guys, so there's both a hole in the arrow and a hole on the staff. So I'm guessing you can both put them here. there you can put her there you can put the stuff there so that's actually a pretty good decision putting the tab on her back instead of the weapons because we all know that we've seen uh, because i think putting a tab on the weapons will destroy the sculpt considering how I appreciated the sculpt and if there would be a tab there to put on a hole on her back, that would have destroyed the, you know, in a way that would have destroyed the beauty 
of the sculpt. So I think this is a good decision that they put uh, the tab on her back and the hole on the on the weapon itself because that that tab will be covered by her hair. I'm still amazed by the articulation of her hair. Remember those instances wherein we are given a box art and the picture on the box art is actually better than the actual figure or, or accessories itself? Well, that's actually the opposite in this case because this arrow actually have a string. Remember my comment on the picture that it has no string? The actual the actual bow actually have a string, so that's a plus for me. And yeah, it is an actual it's actually a string. So if you want her to hold the stop instead and put the bow at her back, that will also work. Remember what I said that when it comes to characters that uses bow and arrows, uh, when they are represented in six in six inch figures, they usually don't work. I mean, Hasbro has Hawkeyes, both Hawkeyes, and even in SH figure arts, the SH figure art Hawkeye, the way that the figure that they designed the figure to hold the bow and arrow is not as good as this one. Man, th this one actually works. Whoever the the engineer in designing this toy, bravo to you, bravo to you. This is an amazing figure, and wow! I mean, look at that. She can hold an arrow. She can actually. There's a string. She can hold the the arrow. She can hold the bow. She can act. She actually looks like she's about to, you know to target someone. I'm amazed. I'm just amazed with this figure. Now, if my overall impression and rating for this figure is not yet obvious throughout the whole review, yeah, this is a definitely 10 out of 10 figure. As I said, I'm not even that yet invested with this character because I haven't played yet the game but as a lover of action figure this is a well-designed action figure I love it I love it if you had the chance to get this figure get it this is an amazing uh this is definitely a level up when it comes to the spin master's action figure as I said, I'm not familiar with them, but I look at their, after reviewing this, actually, I look at their product online. And yeah, I, I, I think that, I think there's a reason why they've been off my radar throughout this year until they released this, because their previous releases, they're not really the kind of figure that I guess I'm the market of. I think this is the first time that they actually created such a collectible like this that is mainly me that is marketed for the for adults and yeah i hope i'm able i'll be able to get the chance to get their other releases i think the kratos and the ghost of that samurai again i still haven't memorized her name uh i think i i we i, I try to get a, a copy of them because if they are as good as this one, this uh, this alloy, I'm pretty sure those figures are also going to be dope. So guys, if you've reached this part of my video, thanks a lot. Thank you for the support. For those people who subscribe, again, thank you. And again, guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe because it really helps. And again, guys, enjoy life and keep collecting.